Hello guys, in this video I want to show you a nice little program I wrote. It's a switch finder. You can find a download link to it in the description. And this witch finder will search for quad widgets near spawn. So just unzip it and to new folder. And there you will find three files. A witch finder, a readme and an arcs.txt. So to run the program you just need to modify this arcs.txt There you will find start seed So you can just leave it empty for a random seed, that's probably the best to do On enter seed you want to start at So let's say I want to start at 100 billion So this will be multiplied by a, mil a million Just so you don't have to type uh, that many zeros and don't get confused and then enter a number of seeds. So I want to check 100 million. Uh, that will take like one and a half minutes for me. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty quick. Number of threads is eight for me because I can run eight threads at the same time. Then I choose a search radius. That's, uh, I usually choose 128. That's a pretty good distance because you want which, uh, the widgets at spawn. Uh, that's what the program is made for. Uh, so this will check 256 by 256 uh, chunks uh, around zero in, your, in every seed. And then the quality. The quality goes from zero to four. Four will give you the perfect widget that's really, really, really rare and you probably won't get one in, in a very short time. And then zero uh, will give you every quad widget. So yeah, if you want to have good quad widgets, don't choose zero uh, because zero will also give you quad widgets uh, that are where we would have to stand in like one position and can't move if all of them uh, should spawn something. So now you can start the program, and it will generate two files. First file is outer.txt and the second file is quad widgets underscore start seed to end seed. So you can see we start at 100 billion uh, to um, 100 million seeds more. So uh, this will contain all the quad widgets it finds in these seeds. And yeah, in the outer.txt uh, it will print you what parameters you gave the program just to you so you can check and also in this file it will print status updates so after one minute it will create a status update and then every five minutes so after one minute um, so you can check how long the program will take because uh, you don't know how long the program takes for you uh, for me like 50 billion seats take 10 hours or something so yeah you can just enter like 50 billion in there and then let it run for one minute then check the outer txt again and you see it already one minute passed and it will say how many seeds it analyzed so already 70 percent for me and that's the time left so that's pretty accurate actually um yeah if there's a really huge number like several days you probably don't want to run the program that long and just kill it in the task manager and then start it again with, with uh, less uh, seeds to check. So yeah, in the second line you have these numbers. That's the seeds of every thread. So if you happen to shut down your PC or kill the process or whatever, just copy all these numbers then create a file called continue.txt and then you can just paste these numbers in there, only the numbers and then run the program again with the same args.txt and it will start from these seeds so you don't lose your all your progress and when the program is done it will print you how many widget, quad widgets found and yeah, how long it took so 879 nanoseconds per seed and it took one and a half minutes so you can check that 
Um, you see quality zero, so really bad. That's the position of it. Uh, so you, when you go there, you see all of them. And that's the distance. So the distance from the center point uh, is almost 125. So 128 is the maximum for witches to spawn. If you are further away, they won't spawn. So that's pretty bad. So you would have to you have like two blocks to move and otherwise some witch huts won't spawn witches so uh, yeah you can see this is the seed and if you get a really good one you can check the seed and go to this position and yeah then choose it for your survival world and play in there uh, and if you happen to get like quality 4 you should probably share this <laughs> um, yeah and that's basically it about running the program and if you want to know how the pr uh, the widgets actually get generated, how that works and what stuff can happen, uh, I will see you in Minecraft. Okay, so first of all, Minecraft generates these widgets uh, in 32 by 32 chunks area. So we will only have one widget every 32 by 32 chunks. and in these 32 by 32 chunks it will choose a certain base coordinate of these 32 by 32 chunks and this is for example over here one over there over there and over there and to this base coordinate it adds a random number from 0 to 23 and uh, to get a quad which had uh, in minecraft we need to generate widgets in every section like one over here and one over here uh, over here and over here that would be quad widget so you can see um, all of them are really close together this is both numbers are 23 and so on so yeah most of the widgets are somewhere in, in the middle here and they are way too far away so you can see they are already eight chunks in between here and the minimum distance uh, you can see eight chunks in between that means this widget gets generated at the edge of this chunk and this one at the edge of this chunk so there are these eight chunks plus this one chunk in between from this widget to this widget so the minimum distance is 144 blocks and you can't get less uh, so also you can see uh, a quad widget is the best you can get. You can't get a fifth uh, widget in there because that would be over somewhere over he around here at the edge in another area. And yeah, so basically the center point will be somewhere in here uh, where all of these are in range. So the best quad widget you can possibly get is this. So you can see them. They are at minimum distance to each other. You can just stand here in the middle, and all of them are active. But this is so really rare uh, because all of these random numbers have to be 20. Oh, actually, this has to be 23, and there one has to be 23, and the other one, zero, there zero zero, and so on. Um, but that's yeah, really rare, as you can tell. And also, this has to be swamp. So and in this chunk there has to be swamp and in this chunk and in this chunk and in this chunk where the widget gets generated so yeah you don't always have that and yeah so you can see that's how widgets get generated it's actually not that hard um, yeah and now to some cool things that can happen and some weird stuff so see you in another world okay so I'm back in another world you can see there's a widget and there's a widget. So this is just a normal widget in a swamp you can see, but this widget actually got generated at the edge of swamp biome into river biome. So you can see the water's a little bit brighter here, and you can see uh, in the biome up here that's river biome all over here, just in this edge. Here the swamp plant got generated, uh, the, the widget got generated, and here swamp land, only these two blocks, and so the widget could get generated. But yeah, 
No witch can spawn in here. Cause only these two these two blocks would spawn witches. And you can't really use that. And sometimes it also can happen that the witcher doesn't get generated. So let's say for example just a random spot. Uh here. Um let's say witcher should get generated here. And here is already well generated and this is above 64 so a widget yeah a widget can't get placed here and therefore uh, it just doesn't get generated but the program won't see that because it doesn't check for the blocks but as you can see most of the time the swamps are really flat and that doesn't happen um, but yeah you have to check the seed first sometimes it can ha just happen uh, yeah, but that's not often, and it would be a really, really huge amount of calculations uh, to be done just to generate all these blocks and check if the widget actually gets placed. So yeah, and another thing that can happen. See, that's a that was a desert temple, and it found this desert temple because it wanted to generate a widget here, but uh, and you can see this desert temple got generated over here and here is desert and when a structure gets a uh, structure like witch huts and uh, desert temples and jungle temples uh, get generated by the same code and just checks what biome it is so when it is uh, desert biome it generates a desert temple when it is jungle biome it generates a jungle temple and uh, in swamp it generates a witch hut so what happens if a witch hut uh, gets generated? Normally, gets generated in, into a swamp, but yeah, in the in the swamp, the witch huts can spawn in the structure, and that's what happens here. You can see I marked this out. Red is uh, where a swamp is, and yellow is desert. You can see it's all swampland, and in here, witch huts, uh, witch huts can spawn um, from up here to yeah no, sadly not all the way down but somewhere over here uh, and or in this area witches can spawn so we have a large amount of spawn spaces and that's really cool so if you happen to have something like this or even better like only a few blocks of desert or jungle and everything else is swamp this is really good and you could put a huge farm in there uh, probably better than even a quad widget <laughs> yeah so that's basically all about it and thank you for watching and see you in another video